This is a wall made of aircrete blocks manufactured here at HMOS H UK. Aircrete blocks are used to build the load bearing walls of one, two and three storey buildings. In a wall construction, the blocks take the whole vertical load from the floors and the roof of a house. For a typical two storey house, the individual blocks will need to be able to carry one and a half tonnes in weight. Here, in our UK factories, we manufacture a range of Cellcom blocks with different properties and different strengths for specific applications including walls and foundations. Sample blocks from the factory are tested routinely to make sure they pass all the necessary quality standards. The tests take place at the H plus H on-site testing facility using UCAS approved testing methods. This is the equipment used to test the compressive strength of blocks. This is a standard grade block. Standard grade blocks are suitable for two-storey housing. They have a declared compressive strength of 3.6 newtons per millimetre squared. This block is easily passing that. H plus H also makes foundation blocks and high strength blocks, which are designed to carry more weight for buildings up to three storeys. Aircrete blocks need to last for decades. I'm here at our H plus H factory in Pollington, which was built from aircrete blocks 45 years ago, to see our aircrete stands the test of time. Okay, so we're inside the factory now. Uh, this is one of the walls within the factory that's been here for 45 years. It's still doing what it was designed to do in the first place, but what we're going to do is take some of these blocks away and test them for compressive strength. When this block was made in 1977, it was manufactured to achieve a compressive strength of 4.1 newtons per millimetre squared. As you can see, the block has achieved its original specified load. In fact, this 45-year-old block was able to withstand a 5.2 newton per millimetre squared load, which is actually much greater than the strength it was designed to have half a century ago. OK, we have a block wall here comprised of blocks uh, that were manufactured 45 years ago. And as you can see, it's been left outside in the elements over that time, to exposed to rain, snow, sun, not something that we normally advocate but what it does do is give us a great opportunity to test these blocks after that exposure period. This block, taken from outside of the factory, left exposed to the elements, is about to be tested. It's had a hard life. Regardless of this, it achieved the final test load of 5.0 newtons per millimetre squared which easily surpasses its 4.1 newton per millimetre squared designed compressive strength. As you know, blocks on site can get wet, so we're going to investigate that a little bit further. We've got some samples of 215 millimetre wide Cellcon standard grade blocks, and we're going to submerge them in water for 24 hours and see how they get on. So these blocks have been submerged in water for 24 hours. I'm going to take them out of the water now and test them for compressive strength. This block was manufactured to have a strength of 3.6 newtons per millimetre squared. After 24 hours soaking, the compressive strength of the block is 3.8 newtons per millimetre squared, which is in excess of the specified strength. So here we have all the blocks that have been tested. The 45-year-old block taken from the outside wall of the factory, the 45-year-old block taken from the inner wall of the factory, the modern-day block that we soaked for 24 hours in water, and the modern-day block tested as part of standard production. In all cases, they all pass the compressive strength necessary, showing that the passing of time has not affected their performance and they remain more than strong enough to build the walls of houses, schools, offices and even factories. With confidence that this strength will last for as long as is needed.